Dorothy and Toto. Little Dog Lost. Chapter One: Garden Trouble. Dorothy Gale and her dog Toto live in the land of Oz. Every morning, Dorothy waters her garden. She tells the flowers her plans for the day. One morning, Dorothy said to Rose, "Today I'm going to relax." What does that mean? Rose asked. It means I will rest, Dorothy said. I will sit in the sun and read a book. A quiet day at home sounds nice, Daisy said. I will relax today too, said Fern. But the quiet didn't last long. Bark, 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 bark. Uh oh, Toto, what's wrong? Dorothy asked. Bark, 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 bark. Toto had spotted a squirrel in the garden. It was digging holes and making a mess. Toto knew the squirrel didn't belong in the garden. He chased after it. The squirrel ran around Dorothy's legs. It knocked the watering can out of her hand. Water splashed everywhere. Oh dear! Dorothy cried. Toto and the squirrel raced in circles. They made Dorothy dizzy. The squirrel ran past Fern. Toto followed, barking loudly. Help! Help! Fern shouted. Finally, the squirrel leapt over the gate and ran out of the garden. Toto did too. Toto, come back! Dorothy called, but Toto was gone. Chapter two. The search begins. Oh no! Dorothy exclaimed. Little Toto is a hero," Rose said. "He saved us from the squirrel." "Toto," Dorothy called. "I'm sure he will come back," Dorothy. Daisy said. Dorothy waited, but Toto did not return. Dorothy missed her dog. "I must find Toto," Dorothy said. "I will relax another day." She went into the house and got Toto's favorite squeaky toy. She also got his favorite treat. Toto loved bacon. Then Dorothy set out to find her dog. As Dorothy walked, she called out, "Toto, Toto, come home, Toto!" Soon, she met Milton the Munchkin and his ducklings. "What's wrong, Dorothy?" Milton asked. Toto ran after a squirrel, and I can't find him. Dorothy said, "I will help you look for him." Milton said, "The ducklings will help too." Dorothy took out Toto's favorite toy and squeezed it. Squeak, squeak. The ducklings quack, 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 quack. Toto always comes when I squeak his toy. Dorothy explained. The toy squeak. The ducklings quack. But there was no sign of Toto. Let's go to Scarecrow's house, Milton said. Maybe Toto is there. Good idea, Milton. Dorothy said. Thank you. Scarecrow was standing in his yard. He waved. Scarecrow, Dorothy said. Have you seen Toto? He ran past a little while ago, Scarecrow said. Pointing, he went that way to a tin man's house. Let's hurry, Milton said. Maybe we can catch him. I will help you, Scarecrow said. Toto cannot have gone far. Chapter three. Don't be scared. Dorothy and her friends hurried down the yellow brick road. They hoped they would find Toto before night came. Dorothy knocked on Tin Man's door. Tin Man, have you seen Toto? She said, trying not to cry. I'm sorry, Dorothy. Tin Man said, I was inside the house and did not see Toto, but I will help you look for him. Dorothy took out the strips of bacon. She waved them in the air. Maybe if Toto smells his favorite treat. He will come back. Everybody waited, but Toto did not come back. Toto has never been lost before, Dorothy said. 
What if he is very scared? We will find him," Milton said. "Don't worry." Toto likes the woods," Dorothy said. "Let's look there." Dorothy and her friends hurried to the woods. They called for Toto. Dorothy squeaked his toy and waved the bacon. Still, no sign of Toto. Look, Milton pointed. That bush is shaking. Dorothy ran to the bush. Toto, Toto, is that you? She said. The bush squeaked. A family of friendly weasels poked out their noses. No, Toto. Then something moved behind a tree. Is that Toto? Scarecrow asked. No, Dorothy said. That is the cowardly lion. Come out, lion. Two eyes peek around the tree. Oh, hello, friends. Lion said. I was afraid of all the noise. Don't be scared. It is just us, Dorothy said. Have you seen Toto? No, Lion said. But. I can hear something. Listen. Chapter four. Old and new friends. Dorothy and her friends stood still. They listened hard. Yes, I hear barking. Tin Man said. It sounds like Toto. Scarecrow said. Oh dear! Dorothy cried. What if Toto is in trouble? I'm so scared," Lion said. Milton patted the cowardly lion to comfort him. The barking is coming from over there," Dorothy said. "I have never seen this path before." "Me neither," Scarecrow said. The friends peered down the path. "I don't think we should go down there," Lion said, shaking. "We we do not know where it goes." But I hear Toto," Dorothy said. "I must find him." "We will go with you," Milton said. All the friends bravely step onto the new path. As they walked, the barking grew louder. The cowardly lion grabbed Tin Man's arm. "Toto," Dorothy called. "Toto, where are you?" The path twisted and curved through the woods. The trees stood tall and close together. Dorothy could hear Toto, but she couldn't see him. Then, suddenly, the path ended. A pretty pink house sat at the end of the path. In the yard were Toto and a white dog with a pretty pink collar. They were playing tag. Toto! Dorothy cried. Toto saw Dorothy and yipped loudly. He ran to her and jumped into her arms. Toto licked Dorothy's cheek. Toto, I was worried. I miss you very much. The door of the house opened. Out stepped a girl in a pretty pink dress. She wore a crown on her head. Hello, she said. My name is Glinda. This is my dog Minnie. Welcome to our home. Dorothy and her friends smiled and introduced themselves. Minnie's best friend moved away yesterday. She's been sad, Glinda said. But Toto cheered her up today. He's a good new friend. Dorothy smiled. Toto and I are always happy to make new friends, she said. So are we, Glinda said. Please join us for teas and cookies. Everyone sat down and enjoyed the treats. They shared stories and laughed. I didn't read my book in the sun today, Dorothy said. But this is a nice way to relax too. Spending time with old and new friends in the land of Oz is great.